Welcome back. Earlier in our newscast, we told you about a recommendation by the World Health Organization to impose taxes on sugary drinks. The goal is to lower consumption and therefore reduce risks like obesity and diabetes. However, as 47 ABC's Lili Zhang reports, one local health department says it may take more than a tax to accomplish that goal, while local residents say the tax would take away more consumer freedom. I don't think it's right. No, I don't. I really don't. Jeff Pruitt is talking about the idea of countries using tax policies to a minimum 20% increased price of sugary drinks. The recommendation comes from the World Health Organization in a 36-page report on fiscal policy and diet released Tuesday. Jennifer Johnson explains it draws lessons from campaigns to fight tobacco addiction, like taxes on cigarettes. There are some people who will say, oh, I don't really want to spend that much money. There may be some that maybe reduce how much sodas they drink. Maybe they, you know, maybe they were a couple sodas a day. Maybe they'll change to one a week. Johnson, supervisor of chronic disease programs at the Wicomico County Health Department, says if implemented, a tax could potentially help reduce obesity rates in the U.S. The number of adults classified as obese in Wicomico County surpasses the Maryland average. But residents 47 ABC spoke to say a tax on sugary drinks is simply not fair. I don't feel that we should be taxed because of our choices that we make. We pay enough taxes as it is. Maryland already has a 6% tax. I don't know what the other states have. So basically you're going to tax on top of the sales tax that's already being uh, implemented and on the drinks already. As for Johnson, she explains it's important for people to realize it's not only drinks that can contain a high amount of sugar, but also certain foods. When you sit down and realize how much sugar intake you're, you're taking in, you would hopefully they would realize that it's way too much. Lili Zhang, 47 ABC. Now there are online resources for folks interested in seeing how much sugar they should be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And to find those resources, look for this story right on our website. That's 47abc.com.